Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. 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 New. 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 <laughs> 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 A prayer for the nation. O God of many nations, God of the nation of indigenous people who nurtured and cherished this land for centuries before it was taken away. O God of the nation who generously shared their people with us over the last 400 years. O God of all our people, rich and poor, young and old, famous and unknown, pour out your spirit upon us and cleanse our nation of fear and hatred. Fill us with compassion and peace and a thirst for justice. Give our nation a new beginning and your grace. We pray in the name of Holy Trinity, one God, amen. Okay, today is February 7th, 2022. It is 2.51 a.m. Yesterday, I didn't record anything. Even though I didn't record, I just had to finish edit some of the videos that I had already recorded, but never edit them. So I wanted to get this stuff out of the way. That way I could start fresh. So now I'm starting fresh. Well, on my last video, I believe I was talking about my revenue estimation. And there it is again. It's still very low comparing to uh, previous months around this time after they had already sent me my payment and from previous month and all of that so it's two hundred sixty two dollars and forty three cents so something is not right because we already uh, maybe two weeks into uh, the, la the last payment so this number is not right all right so let's go on Twitter see what's going on
by now, we should know about the Queen statement letting people know that Camilla will be, uh, what is it, Queen something, all right? But I bookmarked this. I did not read the letter, so I'm going to take the opportunity to read it that way. As we move forward, when I come across many other tweets, either today or next time, at least I have a better understanding of what was really said in the letter. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So this is Omid. To mark the 70th anniversary of her accession, the Queen has shared a letter reflecting on her life of service and her gratitude to Prince Philip's support as consort. She also shares her, quote, sincere wish, end quote, for Camilla to take on the title of Queen when Charles become King. This has definitely looked like they like, forced her to say it. All right, so that was two days ago, February 5th, 2022, Sandrium House. Tomorrow, 6 February, marked the 70th anniversary of my accession in 1952. It is a day that, even after 70 years, I still remember as much for the death of my father, King George VI, as for the start of my reign. As we mark this anniversary, it gives me pleasure to renew to you the pledge I gave in 1947 that my life will always be devoted to your service. Hmm. So a lot of question here, but <laughs> not to the people, but to the crown itself. That's all she's been doing. Everything else, not even some of member of her family, her sisters, no compassion behind a lot of things. As I look ahead with a sense of hope and optimism to the year of my Platinum Jubilee, I am reminded of how much we can be thankful for. These last seven decades have, damn, when you think about it, she's been around quite some time. These last seven decades have seen extraordinary progress socially, technologically, and culturally that have benefited us all. <laughs> but preventing others from getting what they truly deserve. And I am confident that the future will offer similar opportunities to us and especially to the younger generation and the United Kingdom and throughout the Commonwealth. Ah, this is just words, nothing really meaningful behind this. I am fortunate to have had the steadfast and loving support of my family. <laughs> because you are the queen, everybody have to respect you, but a lot of things you're doing, my goodness, not, you're not making a lot of people happy. I was blessed that in Prince Philip's, I had a partner willing to carry out the role of consort and unselfishly make the sacrifices that go with it. This part I truly believe. Prince Philip has held his part of the bargain. All right? um, many people may not like him, his personalities and all of that, but due to uh, marrying with her and support her and all of that, I must say, okay, he probably did things, you know, uh, you know, probably do things unethically, but in terms of for the crown, I truly believe Prince Philip hold his part of the bargain until he die. Okay, it is a role I saw my own mother perform during my father's reign. This anniversary also afforded me a time to reflect on the goodwill shown to me by people of all nationalities. <laughs> Everybody else held their part of the bargain to her, but she didn't do that in return. My humble opinion. Faith and age in this country and around the world over these years, I would like to express, express my thanks to you all for your support. I remain eternally grateful for and humbled by the loyalty and affection that you continue to give me. And when in the fullness of time, my son Charles become king, I know you will give him and his wife Camilla the same support. Hmm. This is where everybody's <laughs> is running away and say, all right, we respect you. But I think that's it. Oh, people's running. I, I feel like it's like cockroaches running away. Before they were scattered around her, you know, it's like a piece of meat. And then once the uh, the light turn on, everybody run away. So nobody wants to deal with your son. Okay, I know you will give him and his wife, Cam uh, Camilla, the same support that you have given me. Nah, the thing that Camilla did moving forward, uh, get rid of, you know, 
a slip of arm with Charles while she, uh, he was married to Diana. This is where everybody like, nope, nope, nope. We're not taking this thing. Nope. All right. You disrespect uh, uh, people's intelligence and all of that. Okay, where did it start? I know you will give him and his wife, Camilla, the same support that you have given me. <laughs> and it is my sincere wish that when that time comes, Camilla will be known as Queen Consort as she continues her own loyal service. Nah, I think that's... Well, I'm not in the UK, but for around the world, I think they said that's enough. Okay, and as... I look forward to continuing to service you with all my heart. Oh, she's not giving up. <laughs> she's still staying. So in other words, she's waiting until her time come and say goodbye. But the thing is that uh, uh, I, I don't think um, maybe the first few paragraphs, it's her probably did give that sincere um, thing but the last from this point on I think it's somebody else who put it there but I don't really think she's running the show I don't think she's running the show now because nobody give Charles and Camilla any respect so they're just leaving her there as the puppet the figure of the monarch but Charles is running the show behind the scene and I don't think um, uh, uh, she she put this part i think it's someone else put the other this from this point on after she mentioned about charles and camilla nah nobody because they know people respect the queen that's the thing here they're using her while she's alive they probably did listen to some of my podcasts because i remember in one of my podcasts i said you know while she's alive maybe this is the time for uh for her to uh you know give like uh how do you call this hand over the rain to the sun that way there's no confusion but with her what she did here she didn't give it up she's not giving it up she's just giving uh letting people know what's her uh, what she's thinking so in some part i think they're listening to my podcast <laughs> i think i make more like common sense you know sometimes when i see common sense i said not w without hating on people so they took the good part of what i said and make this put it into uh into the ladder my goodness i th i think people's fed up with this bs okay they respect the queen and at the same time they're taking um advantage of people's intelligence while she's alive to fool people all right this part is all charles kind of thing here then at one point did it, charles say you know uh, uh she's not gonna be something i forgot how it went like she's not gonna be queen something but she's gonna be something else i don't know but anyway, let's continue. It's like, you know, after they finish one step of the ladder, they overcome it and then they forget what they had said before and then they move to the next one. Now, this hurdle here is to pass uh, to make people believe that they, uh, uh, to take, uh, like, forget every nonsense Camilla had done from the past and then welcome her. Like, she didn't do anything. Nah, she did too many things to get people upset. Look at what happened to uh, Harry right now. If she was a good person, why would not she fight for him saying, oh, he need this, he need that. <laughs> After this, I don't think uh, Harry need to, uh, how do you call this, to trust any of them over there. There's no trust over there. Even though they pretend anything, there's no trust over there. Okay, let me continue. That went a little bit too far. Too long. And so, and so as I look forward to continuing to serve you with all my heart, She's not giving up. She's waiting until she dies. I hope this jubilee will bring together families and friends, start at home pretty much, neighbors and communities after some difficult time for so many of us. In order to... I'm thinking so many things. You know, you have people who can't pay their bills, who are being thrown out and, and stuff like that from their home. You know, with the pandemic, you didn't stand up for them. You didn't stand up for them. This is what you were there for, to serve the people. But so many people is going through so many hardships, but instead you're taking more out of them. So I don't know. These are words of nothing. Okay. In order to enjoy the celebrations and to reflect on the positive development in our day-to-day -day lives that have so happily coincided with my reign. Oh my goodness. Let's see what some people say. All right, so I read this and I interrupt so many times in between. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so there's uh, Omid. 
quote, when in the fullness of time my son Charles become king, I know you will give him and his wife Camilla the same support you have given me. And it is my sincere wish that when that time comes, Camilla will be known as Queen Consort as she continues her own loyal service. Okay, a Clarence House spokesperson says Prince Charles and Camilla are, quote, touch. <laughs> they probably forced her to put this here touch and honor by her majesty's word end quote will be interesting to see if this change public opinion in 2021 a yougov poll revealed that just 13 percent of uk public believe camilla should be titled queen Con consort wow just 13. okay let's see here uh my tooth my twitter thread which i follow as why on the same day with Prince Andrew their positions news that's why Prince uh, there's something that uh, I came across that uh, they're gonna question him for like for two days he needs to give their position I'm telling you these people are something oh they know how to distract people they really she's really covering for that guy my goodness who abused other people's children jeez and then she's calling herself for people to give her that much respect. Oh, jeez. Mm -mm -mm. Seemed like a hostage note. <laughs> Let's see. There's two comments here. Well, uh, yep. And did you see how they dressed the gold grand? <laughs> okay. That's the tweet. That one. <laughs> hostage note. All right. Translation. Quote, don't say shit about my daughter-in-law because she's going to be queen consort. Yeah, <laughs> that's end quote. Shame they couldn't have done the same for Megan who then even steal anyone's husband. <laughs> okay, strangely, there is emphasis on Camilla's future position as queen consort. But to not mention of the future future and his wife, the savior of the monarch. Well, that's for Charles to deal with when it's his time. So I can understand she has to focus on the one that follows her. But uh, yeah, if Charles wasn't there, then she will focus on, um, on, on the future future. So right now she's focused on future. All right, this letter reads like it was dictated by Charles to put will not and cannot in their place. Mm, not really, not really. I don't think so. I think it's because, you know, the thing is sealed. All right line of succession is still due to birthright so she has to focus on the one after her now it's charles once charles become king it will be his turn to focus on his son that's what i think if charles for instance had died or something like that then they'll focus on 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 william okay or wish you Elizabeth wrote, <laughs> wrote the letter or maybe it was written by Charles and Camilla. Elizabeth is a 95-year-old great-grandmother. I think the first few paragraphs, I think it's hers. But the last two, I don't think it's hers. Okay, in the middle of the last two. Uh, in the middle of the second to last. And then from the end, that I don't think it's her. So now she can be queen consort. Why didn't Elizabeth do that for Prince Philip? Make him king consort. Is she just choosing the power she wants to use at convenient? What happened is that I think, um, you know, how, uh, how do you call this? Uh, Camilla opened up to the, uh, the newspapers and all of that. So they're making things happen for her. All right. She was mad at Philip because of his side hose. <laughs> that cracks me up. Came more broken promises before Charles and Camilla wedding in 2005. Okay, so this is some of the thing that I was saying when I was saying in terms of the ladder. Uh, uh, at one point, he said he was going to do something and then that he didn't follow through to his word. But let's see this one. More broken promises before Charles and Camilla's wedding in 2005. It was announced that Camilla will be known as Princess Consort, not Queen. If and when Charles ascended to the throne, Australia needs to leave the monarchy behind now. This is stupid. Okay, I think that was the thing that I was thinking of, but I didn't know the term. This is that. This is the thing that I was thinking of. Okay, did Baldy agree to this? Big betrayal to mom. Baldy forced this so they can set a prescience for Baldy like to pay for the cheating scandal. Smooth real shame. Maybe also, I don't know. Maybe it could be meant, you know, uh, 
if this happened for Charles, maybe William will be like, okay, I could get a divorce. And then the one that I truly want to be next to me could do the same thing as the dad. Because technically from my eyes, my point of view, I see William is following exactly what his dad did. Okay. He didn't do those uh, negative things to, well, I don't know what behind the, the door, the closed door, but the things that he, uh, he did to Megan. What it means is that a senior figure in the royal household, according to Mel on Sunday, was passing him information uh, in order to help defeat the Duchess's case. What it's been, as we know, is that the Mail on Sunday had the ruling against them in February and they were then appealing it. So it was lawyers from the Mail on Sunday who would have approached Jason Naff knowing that these emails and messages existed. Mm. That would have been the point, unless, I mean, the most likely outcome is that Jason obviously would have then gone to William and Kate, and clearly he has cooperated. He would not have cooperated he would not have with those without lawyers their without their definite knowledge. He didn't do that to his wife, though. But, you know, the wife is not looking too good. Let me read some more and move on. Okay, let's see this. Omid, someone please post the tampon tapes. England, this is your future king and queen. Okay, and it's my sincere wish to see Prince Andrew finally forced to tell the truth. All right, so this is the thing that was going on here. Um, what is it? Prince Andrew to give evidence under oath next month in civil sex assault case. Andrew's former assistants, Robert Ole and Shukri Walker, who claim to have seen him and tramped Huh, Trump nightclub are also expected to give their position. Saturday, 5th, February 20, 22, 7. Uh, they probably set up that thing here. Okay, hold up. Charles could marry Camilla because she was a, not a virgin and commoner. So he married Diana. They make her life a living hell. Mr. Tempon has his affair, divorces, rules are changed. He married her to be princess consort. And now that changed. Charles has one more change to make, and that is to change the rule that gives Archie and Lee the title. He will never allow his biracial grandchildren to become princess and princess never. Uh, why? I have a question at Scobie. Under monarchy's rule, can queens retire and hand over the hand over to Charles or can he only ascend upon her death? Yeah, she could uh, give up. She could because uh, the same way they said something for life like uh, is completely different now. Um, like uh, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, judge, uh, Supreme Court judge. It's something for them for life. Right. But if they're tired, they want to enjoy life. They don't want to deal with all those paperwork you know, they're getting old, they could uh, be tired. And I think she could do the same thing too. Okay, at this rate, she could well outlive him. And I'm curious whether giving his own advanced age, he's allowed to say, quote, okay, move over mommy, my turn, end quote. I think Charles is running the, the show right now because so many people hate him, don't really like Charles. So he's doing the, the talking behind the scene, but the queen is just a figurehead. Okay, the queen could abdicate, but she promised she will serve her whole life, which means Charles could have another five to six years waiting. Keep in mind that the queen's mother lived to be 101 or 102. Let's see here. Okay, thanks for ca clarifying that. This is Charles, comma, I guess. Ahead of him is a monarch who is uh, threatened to outlive him, and behind him is a ruthless, ambitious heir, Walter. Whatever it takes to sit on that throne and quickly. Okay, what makes you think any of them are keen to be monarch? That's only Harry's mindset. What? What Harry has to do with this? Harry has nothing to do with this. Okay, you mean they might be feeling trapped and spending their lives waiting to be monarchs but not actually want to be monarch themselves one day. Okay, as an adult, Harry has not said he wants to be king. At one point, Will didn't want to be king. He said he wanted to move to the U.S. Will has grown to like the perks of him becoming king, minus the responsibilities involved. Harry's enjoying his freedom. He's living a life William wanted. All right, so let's move on. This took 20 minutes. There's more. Now let's see what some other people are saying. Okay, that's <laughs> Princess Margaret and Edward Windsor right now. It's like, what the F? 
because they didn't want uh what is it uh princess margaret to marry the one that he wanted the person that he uh she wanted to marry what's what what was it, uh, his name uh is it townsend or something like that and they had to ship him to another country where he you know he remarried and all of that he sent her a letter saying look i can't wait any longer i'm gonna you know i'm gonna marry it i need to live my life and that pretty much uh bring princess margaret into a drinking frenzy she couldn't really be with who she wanted to be because the queen did not allow it and now for this to happen oh my goodness i'm telling you, these people have a lot of sin have a lot of sin in their uh in their conscience Okay, let's hear. Oh, I forgot how she could marry Peter Townsend. There it is, because he was a divorced. Okay, and Princess Anne couldn't marry an uh, English church because she's divorced. <laughs> All these people with their moral, this kind of thing, trying to paint uh, the facade of a perfect picture, but deep inside, they're like freaking rotten. Charles is divorced, so how can he be head of church of England? Divorcees weren't even allowed in the royal enclosure at Ascot or other racing events. Okay, the queen changed the rule. The only ones she refused to change the rule for are the Sussexes. She also changed the rule to allow all the Cambridge children become king and queen should Kate's first baby turn out to be a girl. Yeah, I remember that. Margaret should be the one pissed off more than anyone. Her existence made miserable for wolves. They could have been easily overlooked. Yeah, yeah. And now this is why pe people's gonna get angry. People's gonna say, that's it. I think, in my humble opinion. Makes so many people's lives miserable. And then all of a sudden, the one who were most despicable to society is the one you freaking change the rule for? Turn a blind eye? Hell no. I don't know. I think in one of my tweets, I was like, Princess Diana, this is your time. Do your thing. So true, who Lizzie did her sister dirty. Yep, that's the thing here. Make it make sense. And Wallace Simpson to that list, people just laughing. Uh, clap, so true. Next tweet. I'm probably going to have several other videos because I have a lot of things bookmarked. As soon as I reach 100, oh, I'm saying 100, one hour, I'm going to move to the next uh, video. There's the laugh. Over 70% of the public do not want Camilla to be queen concert. There's the laugh. I've noticed some over on IG don't know how problematic this woman is. I get this woman is. She literally had a plot to make people think Diana was mentally ill. <laughs> Where is the 70% came from? What is it? Uh, and um, it might even be more because an omid thing, they said 13% uh say something what did 13 percent say 13 percent say something um i don't know 13 percent say something okay i hope commonwealth countries act soon to change their head of state uk can keep them but the rest of the 15 nation should drop them as head of state okay the media again attempting to tell people that what to think have you seen how the entire pack of client journalists write in support of her <laughs> oh yeah it's so gross i mean she literally been working the media and press for 20 years they love her reality is of course entire commonwealth we all hate her there's a laugh okay there are three people in in my marriage and quote those words are not easily forgotten i agree with you i mean all these were in the plan when you look at the thing that uh, william did made the press conference to um go after the bbc and uh, what's the other guy the journalist who interviewed princess diana and all of that all this were in the work all this was in the work okay so it's just now it's being made public and when you look at uh Mm, let me not bring it here okay quote there are three people in my marriage and quote those words are not easily forgotten i agree with you yesterday all the journalists were instructed to make her look worthy of being a queen the royals are desperate okay yeah this i honestly believe wasn't the queen at all i think they are 100 percent taking advantage of her age i think so too I think so too. Okay, this is Charles and his supporters that want that gross palace. I mean, I guess positive side of this is it's going to make them so ridiculously unpopular. Uh, yeah, I think they're trying to take advantage while she's alive, okay, for the words to come out of, of her mouth, but technically a letter, okay? I would like to think that Diana will have some way of upsetting the court 
from beyond the grave. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Some way of getting her on pack on them that this plan will all fall to pieces. Okay, William referring to his mother as paranoid, one and all and Yeah, that's what I, I was uh, referring a few minutes ago here. Yep, see William playing a dangerous game. He had a lot of Diana fans support because of being her son, but turning on Diana make him lose a lot of that around the world. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Okay, I was uh, flabbergasted, he said that, but into doubt what I thought he thought about his mother. Obviously, he loved her, but was dis disdainful of her attitude or grew to be. Maybe he was influenced to think uh, that way or decide for himself. Uh, she had a plot. But anyway, that definitely turned a lot of people, uh, you know, the thing is that if you make people happy, the people happy, that's the main thing here. You will not have any problem, no matter what the, uh, the tabloids say or anything like that. But when you turn against the people, no matter what the tabloids write, they're not going to like you. Okay, next tweet. This was always coming. It was always going to be Queen Concert Camilla. The thing I continue to be miffed about is look at what was shelled out to rehab her image when they left Meghan Markle out in the cold, who had done nothing more. <sighs> they definitely are baggage for God. All right, a divorced, adulterous woman and adulterous divorced man going to be ahead of a church of England. Sound about right. <laughs> Well, the church was started by an adulterous man who wanted to marry his side hoe. He married her, got tired after about a year, and had her executed with a trip. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> this is freaking... When you think about that, this is freaking evil. I think evil took over that country. <laughs> Don't talk about me that way. <laughs> ah, Queen Henry the Eighth. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, but wait a minute. Why did I just get this? <laughs> I'll use exhaustion as my ex excuse. Yeah, Henry, I'm thumbed about you. All right. It was always Charles' plan to make that interloper queen concert. I mistakenly thought that he was going to announce after his decision after mother died. However, by seemingly getting his mother written blessing, his decision may be more palpable to the UK peasant. Yeah, I think that's what they did. While well, she's alive because everybody feels sorry for the queen, you know, everything, there's a issue, uh, they bring the queen in to, for people to be like, oh, the queen, you're hurting the queen's feeling. So now they're taking people's advantage, you know, uh, to say this is what the queen says, so therefore it must be, <laughs> okay? Hostage note, it seems. <laughs> As the old Blossom can barely sign her name these days, but definitely meant to sell idea to fed up peasant. Liz save last strength for signing and this payoff. <laughs> okay, it's a movement to pacify the millions of holdout who still despite Camilla. Okay, I'm stating the obvious, but Megan did then do anything wrong to begin with. They deliberately trash her to draw attention away from the rest of the shit show. They try to call a family, including Camilla, plus she's a black American, and they didn't want anything to do with her. <laughs> But she made Kate, let's see here. Okay, I have always felt that for Camilla to get the support of the British press, she was leaking stories about Megan. The British public never came uh, to Megan's defense. Okay, that's the thing here. That used to get me very upset, but nobody came. Okay, and, yeah, uh, and they are getting the royal family they deserve. What has happened to the once great British country? <laughs> All right. But she made Kate look bad by speaking in coherent sentences that behavior best merch the dignity of the monarchy and could not be tolerated. <laughs> <laughs> Megan speaking properly. That, oh my God. <laughs> that uh, made uh, behavior. But anyway, I would be surprised if Camilla is the one setting Kathy up for fail. <laughs> Rehab like an old beat up dilapidated house. Also, the derangers have been campaigning for Kate and for what? <laughs> All right, there's more thing here. I don't want to read that. All right, the biggest hurdle was seeking some sort of harmony between his son and Camilla. They should have explicitly hated her for life. Okay, well, Will and Carol ain't happy. <laughs> Let's see what happened now. Let's see, because I think they're setting um, things up for, for William. So when... 
because from what I understand it, it could be 100% wrong. William is cheating on his wife right now. So if he's tired with his wife, when you look at pictures, how disgusting William is over um, um, his wife right now. So there's a possibility, there's a divorce that might come down the line. And then when that divorce happened, you know, he's going to remarry his sire just like the dad. And then when he become kings, the same thing that happened to Charles, the same thing going to happen to William. So we sort of see, uh, we could pretty much based on previous experience, we could sort of see what's going to happen. So it's up to the people of the UK to say enough is enough. All right. Leave some dignity now with all of the stuff that happened prior. People were like, you know, uh, enough, enough. You disrespect uh, our intelligence. You make us look bad around the world. Enough is enough. Next tweet. Ha. Okay, look at the dismal turnout at Buckingham Palace today. Determined crowd battle rain at Buckingham Palace. <laughs> look at the bird. And I think I put, this is why I put some of my thing here. Oh shit, 10 people like it and 3 retweet. All right. I just felt like dropping some of my video thumbnails right now. They fit my mood and current event. All right, this is what I put. Action and reaction. What did you think was going to happen? That's the domino effect here. Okay. Okay. The warning are there. Don't be surprised. The storm is coming. Okay. There's that. And then there's me here. Whatever happens in that island, it's not their fault. It's not their problems. All right. So there's that. Harry and Meghan, that's not their problem. And then there's it here. The squad, king and queen. Okay. Pray for the Sussexes and more. All right, so I have these videos somewhere. I don't remember what I said, but I remember those thumbnails. And I was like, this is my mood right now. All right, let's see here. They're all very cool. <laughs> okay, OMG, not the pigeon. I'm belly laughing. Okay, I'll rather watch my paint dry. I'm in the UK. There's this, people there. Emojis, okay. E okay, emoticon, novel, and four parts. <laughs> all right, next tweet. What do I have next here? All right. So I'm not going to read this over again, but let's see what some of the people are saying here. Okay. So Prince Charles probably changed the Netflix password and will only give it to his mom if she agreed to put, put out this announcement supporting Queen Camilla, right? <laughs> okay. What makes you think the queen is such a good person? I've seen footage of her being racist about the Chinese and joking about gorillas, nudge, nudge. There are no morals in that entire family from the top down. She ignored the cry for help by Diana. Yeah. That's true. Okay, I don't think she was making a judgment on the Queen's character either way. She uh, she was just joking about his obvious. It is that this isn't even her decision. The Queen is too self-centered to make her jubilee about showing up Camilla. Charles is in charge now. Was it, wasn't there a show that called Charles in Charge with, uh, what's his name? Scott Bay or something like that. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. That was in the 80s or 90s or something. Charles in Charge. Let's see here. LOL. Charles can't wait another 95 years for this intern position. He waited enough. I think he should have waited. <laughs> Some shit is about to go faster than he thinks. He wants to speed things up. Speed he must get. Right? <laughs> One person like it. Okay. He disconnect with Wi-Fi at Sandrium. Okay. Sound about right. Certainly there's elder abuse going on there. Those people are heartless. <laughs> what is this here? Okay, Diana, the real queen. Diana, the real queen. Oh my God, people's putting it, all this. Oh, I should go on IG. What is it? Is it Clarence House? Let's see here. So these are the comments. Okay, Diana, the real queen forever. Diana, the, oh my God. They're probably going to shut their comment off. Oh my God. Let's see here. Okay, where is this? Which account? Hilarious. Okay, Nachal just wrote it and slip it in with other papers. <laughs> she plus courteous dudes are never so blatant, overt. Uh, what's the word? Explicit. Oh, okay. That's a thought too. 
Oh my God. My mind went more sinister like he was holding the clicker to her pacemaker, forcing her to sign this or else. Oh my God. A thought. <laughs> oh my God. But anyway, lol, I doubt the queen even would this, Charles would this to check the mood. Okay, uh, yeah, because um, if uh, he does it himself, he already know. Okay, Charles is a very smart man. He, he could read the room, even though he doesn't act to fit the room, but he could read the room while he still uh, stay on course with his agenda. So while the mom is still alive, he make the mom does it for him. All right, because everybody uh, have a soft spot for the queen, so he's abusing that soft spot. That's what it is. Okay, but can not say a word about his son's family. My heart hurts, Harry. At this point, you know, we don't need to be feeling sorry for Harry anymore with how his family. And the most important things here for me is the fact that Harry recognized the fact that when he goes over there, is to not trust anybody. He knows when he goes over there, he needs the security that he deserves. That's the most important thing for me right now. I hope they give it to him. Because after that, you know, who wants to deal with this shit show? Adulterous, immoral characters, all those, uh, uh, you know, those immoral acts that those people are doing. Thank God Harry get himself out of this. All right, people see Harry for who he is, the good person that he, he doesn't need to associate himself with these people. All right, so Harry is a good place. We don't need to feel sorry for Harry anymore. The only thing I would say I feel sorry for Harry is the security that he needs. That's the main important thing. Right now, he's fine where he's at. he's at. Let me move on to the next one. I don't know. Maybe I'm not seeing something. You, you, you know, you guys could tell me. While you guys are listening, if you then subscribe, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. All right, next tweet. Big day for Saiho. <laughs> Big day for Saihos everywhere. Follow your dream, girls. Oh my God. <laughs> the queen announced she wants Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, to be known as the queen when Prince Charles become king. Oh my goodness. Hold up. Wasn't there objection to her suitability as queen, which led to him marrying Diana? Hmm. My goodness. This is the thing here. If you don't do what is best for you and you're listening to people, this is what happened. Can you imagine if Harry was listening to the, uh, his family? Well, then again, his family uh, put a facade in front of him, said, yes, you can marry her. And then um, they go behind his back and do all the shitty stuff. But Harry stick to his course and did what uh, his heart desire what he saw was right he did it all right people who's telling you what to do and then you have no uh no uh, how do you call this no goal of your own people's gonna throw in you side to side so this is what happened with charles here all right diana should never been marry him because he never loved her but then again when um when human being give the universe uh, a freaking um, lemon, the universe turn it into a lemonade. And then guess what? <laughs> the le uh, God gave us Harry. God gave us Harry. But uh, we shall see how this move forward. Okay, Charles will be head of Church of England. Comedy right itself. Okay, did I miss something here? I don't think Camilla wanted to marry Charles. Oh, please. Nah, why didn't he le uh, she leave him alone when he, uh, he was married uh, when he was married to Diana? I, I think there's some freaking voodoo thing that went behind the scene with this woman to uh, make people blind. And while he's still doing his no uh, her nonsense, while she's doing her nonsense, she married the one she wanted, but continued her affair with Charles. Camilla Hubby was a hoe himself and even had an affair with Charles' sister, Anne, so he was fine with it all. Ah, this nonsense over there. Ha ah, makes me want to throw up. Charles will be head of Church of England, comedy writes itself. I don't understand the England church. So he will be like a pope <laughs> or that religion, that God and then Charles. Oh my goodness. Just disgusting. Okay, this is your moment. Scrimp, scrimp. She's responding to the Saiho thing here. There's a laugh. You know this, Camilla. <laughs> There's that. Best tweet. It's now inherited title. LOL. Wrong side of town, boy. 
how I am trying to be. Okay, you be better than Millie could ever be. There's a laugh. Okay, if I were William and Harry, I'd be pissed. I mean, they already got uh, William under their wing. It's Harry. It's Harry who doesn't want this thing here. Uh, Harry have more moral than these people. All of them combined. She caused the drama with Diana and Charles. She is one of the reason Diana died. The queen slapped them in the face. Her son's infidelities are more important than any righteous woman. <laughs> F Camilla. Okay, let's see here. Gotta give it up for Camilla. She is the real upset. Okay, she's the real upset. What? Uh, Queen Liz acted like she was hot garbage 40 years ago and look at her now. Okay, surprise. Uh, I don't know what that means, but okay. Next tweet. Let's see here. Princess, oh, there's me responding here. Princess Diana, this is the time. The time to start advocating for the heavy baggage for all backstabbers. Keep protecting the son who keeps your legacy going and honor your name. Lord have mercy. These people are something with no shame. The queen I recognize. Yeah, there it is. There's no comment on that. Next tweet. All right. Uh, <laughs> next tweet. Egg just had all his fantasy of tampons stepping aside, scramble into giant Camilla shape omelet. <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't know they know who's first second I don't know maybe the the wife mother you know uh, the wife family probably wanted that to happen but the thing is already set there was not gonna be any change okay Betty did all the egg cracking tampon are more resilient than egg Her music God save the cortex oh my god <laughs> Yeah, we won't even be getting any more YouGov polls saying people want him to take over because Camilla controlled those. Okay, it's gonna be so much fun to see which side the Royal Vat will be coming out on. Okay, Chucky, they need access. Yeah, uh, they're gonna stick up for Camilla because I have videos, uh, where is it? I don't have it, but I think it's on IG where she's dancing with one of those uh, Royal Vats. So she welcomed them. She know how the game is played. All right, but can she fool the people? That's the question here. They could uh, open the door, put the red carpet for all the royal rats, but you, it's up to the people. Let's see what the people say. And this is why I think they were, um, they were setting all those laws about, um, uh, I think, in terms of protests. Uh, they didn't want people to protest. They could criminalize you for being, uh, so, uh, to organize uh, protests. And this is why they used the, they let the pandemic come in, for both in the US and in the UK. For the UK is when things starting to change. They know the queen, you know, she's old enough. So they know at some point within a couple of years, she's going to be gone. So they don't want people to be upset against uh, uh, Charles, uh, those kind of things that's happening now. So they're putting laws, people can protest, people can do certain things. Uh, you can't do this, you can't do that. And all of this, you can't gather in big group. But, you know, I think the uh, they should start digging a great... Uh, the grave for themselves as they think they were trying to fool the people so we shall see a lot of things haven't happened yet so we shall see okay if charles live as long as his father and the queen lives as long as her mother william is in for a very long wait he's already 40. george and his wife will be playing game of thorn him for position and bill i mean can you imagine this uh when you have uh uh, when those monarchs have kids and then they only care only for the first one and then the second and third, fourth, and if there's a fifth, they don't really care about the rest. Why do they keep on creating so much if they only care about the first one? And then put, to put the others into uh, shambles and all of that. So why do they create so much once they get the first one? That should be it, you know? But uh, when you look at, um, you know, the way Charles did and he did a, a spare and then look how they turn on him. My goodness, these people are evil. They are baggage for God for sure. Okay, he's already 40. George and his wife will be playing Game of Thrones, him for position. And Bill and Rose will be plotting to get Kathy out of the picture by making her crazy. That's people who's pretty much seeing the future. It's not like we have the, the, the crystal ball. It's pretty much what already happening is going to repeat itself. All right, that's what I was saying before. There's someone who's, who's saying it here. Well, you have to tune in into the crown to see how this will turn out. But remember, the crown is not real. 
All right, let's see it. Sights here. This quarter quell of the Royal Hunger game has proven to be devastating for Egg and Mumbles. All right, Egg must be real dumb if he ever thought a man who waited 70 years to be king will easily step aside for him. <laughs> Get back in line. Actually, yeah. That's the life she want. Being queen is her aspiration. I'm sure it was manipulated somehow. But you know what? Guess what? Uh, the the monarch no not the monarch the royal rats okay they're not really for anybody it's anything that could give them the scoop all right right now they're playing along with uh with camilla because uh camilla give them the access and all of that with uh what's her name uh, uh ballhead's mother-in-law I, I, I don't i don't remember their name all right ballhead's mother-in-law know how the game is played what do you think she's gonna do she's gonna do exactly what camilla did welcome the royal vats and give them scoop here and there and to, for the royal vats to be on their side okay so they will play both sides <laughs> but anyway let's see here yep and the british press courtiers who sided with him and keen must be scared angela kelly giving keen the one of the jewelry vault over uh, was it Charles? Was see Is it Charles Camilla? I don't know. Underestimate Chuck's cunning. So maybe Camilla. Okay. The Queen's mother jewelry went to Prince Charles, and Camilla has uh, that collection. Diana and memorabilia were the crown jewels, and the adulterer was Chuck's. The Queen mother was an uh, unlawful collector of other people's jewels, as was Queen Mary. If they like your jewelry, they said so, and you hand it over. What? Uh, that's the first time I'm hearing it, but you never know. It probably is true. They are going to be fighting each other, Charles, William, Edward, and Andrew, while Harry will be and Kali continuing to grow and get bigger and bigger, and Diana's legacy over his family protecting him. Okay, has anyone checked on the derangers? They must be fuming that future future queen will have to wait for another 30 years to be queen concert after Camilla. Kensington Palace must be incandescent with rage. Nah, I, maybe it's the people who think so, but everything was already set. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see here. Once old Camilla is queen, there will be a title for her children, okay, for her kids, but no title for Harry's watch this space. You never know. Yeah. I'm telling you, she's, she has them under uh, their fingertip. Okay, may Queen Camilla reign, be long and prosperous. I'm a royalist now what <laughs> okay i don't know i guess because they don't like uh um uh, what is it uh egghead maybe okay i'm just sitting here waiting for quote palace sources say and quote how terrible camilla really is because it's coming and it has it has nothing to do with our faith these people are nothing if not entirely predictable there's, you see there's people who knows that thing here Okay, side priest Charles is in charge and clearly desperate about side chicks. Camilla being constitutionally insignificant, Queen Council that joined event last week with Mambelina made it quite clear. Meryl uh, Siddeton knows to play ball. Okay, no, Charles is not in charge. Camilla is in charge. That guy been... <laughs> That's the word here. Uh, whipped since he was in his 20s, but the old bag. Okay, all those polls, they, um, okay, Baldy will now have a lot of time on his hand to create nothing but mischief and come, and came out better get a real job. All right, let's do the next tweet. There's this here. I woke up to tweet about Queen Camilla. Personally, it's exactly what the UK deserve. All right, yeah, here. Yeah. Diana's gonna do her thing in there. They can't touch, they can't touch her up there. She's gonna give them a baggage so heavy for them to lift that mm -mm -mm, they're gonna wish that they didn't do all the BS that they did. I'm so happy for them and I can't wait for that. Camilla is exactly the kind of queen they deserve. Amen. Totally disgusting. They're really desperate to erase Diana. Harry must feel so sad. My heart lurched because Diana said back in the day they were wanting to get rid of her so Chumley could marry and make the mistress a queen. He says that your husband renewed his relationship with Mrs. Camilla Parker Bowles. Were you aware of that? Yes, I was. But I wasn't in a position to do anything about it. 
What evidence did you have that their relationship was continuing even though you were married? A, a woman's instinct is a very good one. <laughs> is that all? Well, I had, I, obviously, I had knowledge of it. From staff? Well, from people who minded and cared about our marriage, yes. What effect did that have on you? Pretty devastating. Rampant bulimia, if you can have rampant bulimia, and just a feeling of being no good at anything and being useless and hopeless and failed in every direction. Wow. And with a husband who was having a relationship with somebody else? Was a husband who loved someone else, yes. It was already difficult, but it became increasingly difficult. In a practical sense, how did it become difficult? Well, people were... When I say people, I mean friends on my husband's side were indicating that I was, again, unstable, um, sick, and should be put in an, a home of some sort in order to get better. I was almost an embarrassment. Do you think he really thought that? Well, there's no better way to dismantle a personality than to isolate it. So you were isolated? Mm-hmm. Very much so. Do you think Mrs Parker Bowles was a factor in the breakdown of your marriage? Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. <laughs>Okay, exactly. People just laughing. All right, let's go to the next tweet. There's some stuff. I'm close to one hour. There's some stuff I'm probably going to cut. But anyway, two adulterers as the head of Church of England. <clears throat> oh, there's me responding to that. That's their trademark. They own this type of behavior. Now they're letting the world know it. People better recognize pedo, adulterers, mental abuse, toxic behavior, certain car. I didn't want to write this, but you know what I mean. Okay, they are theirs to own and be part of it. All right, so that's their trademark. Okay, the Church of England was started by adulterers. So there's just keeping with tradition, I say. That is true. The same CE that did not want any black people sitting in them. Listen, the way it's a perfect fit. This is Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, the second in command of the Church of England. Okay, what happened here? Archbishop of Canterbury appears to defend Prince Andrew. What did he? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's see here. Archbishop of Canterbury appears to defend Prince Andrew over Epstein scandal. Everyone makes mistake. No, no, no. This, this was not a small mistake. Where he was aware that this guy was a pedo, uh, was a sex offender. He admitted. I'm talking about Epstein. Okay. And then he, meaning Andrew, stuck with him and then did some stuff with, to other people's children. How could this be just a mistake? Oh my God. When was that? Okay, 17 December 2019. Oh my Lord. I'm telling you, these people are all baggage for God. I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, before Meghan Mary uh, Harry, she had to convert to the Church of England. Every religion have their own fault. As long as you believe in the universe, it, it, it's what really matters to me. <laughs> Yesterday, I had a small little argument with my mom. You know, I my my sister went over her house while I was talking to my sister. 
uh, with my sister, my mom said, oh, I'm going to call you later. Okay. Hours passed. My sister left and I call her. She didn't pick up. Then I got a little bit worried. A few minutes later, I call again. She pick up. I was like, okay, well, you say you were going to call me. You didn't pick up and this and that. What happened? She started talking to me about church. I need to get my kids involved in church and all of that. She got me so upset. I was like, what makes you think I'm not doing that? Right now, there's a pandemic out there. And I'm looking at people in my neighborhood walking as if the pandemic didn't exist. Why would I expose my kid into the church? You know, I, I, I'm more worried about my kids' health than the freaking church. They could pray at home. She got me so upset with this thing. I'm like, as I was talking to her, she doesn't know I do podcasts. And I was like, uh, I think I'm the devil right now with my mom. Because the way she went at me for not taking my kids to church in a freaking pandemic. And then you have, when you go to the Catholic church, the one thing I wanted to say at the original recording, which I didn't mention, is that when you're doing your communion, it's like going to take the bread, the body of Christ, is that the priest is putting the Eucharist in your mouth, okay? Or your hand, or he's touching what's going to go in your mouth. So when you think about it, let's say the priest is, you know, going after each individual. Sometimes they put it in their mouth or their hand. We don't know. I, I haven't been to the church quite some time. I don't know if they wash their hand after each person they hand over the Eucharist. I do not know. So right now, I just don't want to get involved, to participate. You know, the most important things right now is to keep my kids safe, be alive, and all of that. So the church could wait. All right? God knows exactly how you feel inside. It's what really matters. Majority of those people who are so close to God... Uh, or doing some really nasty stuff. So it doesn't really, uh, all these, uh, I'm following the church, uh, my religion, because that's what I was raising. Uh, I, I'm not going to force it. I, I talk about this before. I'm not going to force these things into my kids. I just want them to know this is exist. This is what I grew up in and uh, they need some guidance. That's mostly for that, for guidance to do good things in society. But I'm not going to force my religion into them. If later on they want to change to Buddhism, I think that's what their father do, or whatever other religion they want to choose, I really don't care. I will support them. But this is what I know. Therefore, I must show it to them, but I'm not going to risk their life for their religion. That for sure. So this is something I wanted to say at the beginning when I was originally recorded. I didn't do that. I didn't say it. So let's continue with my previous recording. When you do uh, taking your communion, my oldest already did his communion. My second needs to do his communion. He did all his classes, but when he was supposed to do his communion, the pandemic struck and this is the thing with me when something is brand new you don't know how it happened and i said you know what we could wait i told the church i don't want my son to do his communion right now the ceremony part he did all the classes and everything i could wait okay i postponed it two years two years and over maybe this year i probably will do it now that we know how this is transmitted and all of that okay i'm not gonna expose my kid into the church without let's say for instance the um the first year when the pandemic came in and i let him go do his communion we didn't know we have to wear masks and all of that what will happen my i probably will not have my kids with me right now okay so when something is new just happened is to be careful watch from afar take precaution with yourself but my mom went oh, they have to be in a church i was like no they don't have to be in a church every sunday they could pray at home they could do certain things at home she got me so upset with this thing i was like why did i even bother call her but i had to call her because she said she was gonna call and my sister was gonna leave her place at that time and then i called her the first time she didn't pick up that got me a bit worthy you know anything could happen from the time I spoke with my sister to the time my sister left so I call again then she pick up she said she didn't hear the phone the first time I call but and this is the BS she wanted me to tell. I'm like but she said some other stuff but I'm not gonna say it here but it's some nonsense she had full access with and she's making me feel guilty for my you know what let me leave this alone but with that church here but my goodness 
how did that come from? But anyway, doubt go over Archbishop account of when he knew of abuse. K. Justin Wobby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, delivered a sermon this year. He denies having learned about severe beating of Christian camp where he once worked until decades after they happened. Oh my goodness. April 14th, uh, 2017 by Celine Yejensu. I mean, believe me, those people love to keep secret. I, they love to keep secrets. It's up to them, uh, to people, to make, you know, make things change. All right, let's see here. Why did Justin Wobby fail to alert police over pedophilia at the cathedral? Archbishop of Canterbury must face dis disciplinary action over sexual abuse, say lawyers. Oh my goodness. James Susie and Liz Hall for the Daily Mail. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. The, the Daily Mail, they don't care. They just want stories. Okay, 11 October 2021. That's a little bit more recent. A little bit more recent. Wow. That, that was last year. Okay. Justin Wobby was approached by worshiper with abuse claim against the, a priest. But the Archbishop, then Dean of Liverpool, told Canon John Robert Sy. Uh, he even banned accuser from City Cathedral for being, uh, quote, abusive and threatening, end quote. What? I mean, all these people are baggage for God because you should at least listen to the kids who were being abused. Oh my God, they're just baggage for God, okay? Baggage for God. Robert was later jailed for offenses against three people, including the accuser. Lawyers say Wobby should now face disciplinary action over his role and scandal. The Archbishop of Canterbury should face disciplinary action over his role in a sexual abuse scandal, lawyers have said. Justin Wobby failed to alert police when a priest was accused of sexually assaulting a worshipper, despite knowing that he was a convicted pedophile. Oh my God. The, the whole thing is all swift and fested. What else here? Superhuman saint. Yeah, you don't have to be a superhuman saint to know not to sleep with underage girls. Yeah, exactly. Care and fairness wasn't the Church of England founded on the premises that the king could marry his side chick after the Vatican said no. Okay. Um, and got his ass excommunicated for it too. Old Henry VIII himself was big mad. The Pope won't let him philander or set aside his multiple marriages. There's a lot. And his daughter, he set aside for not being a male heir, still ended up on the throne. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you, when you try to control nature, control uh, nature has something really coming for you. Okay, another adulterer is Lord High Commissioner to the Church of Scotland. What is this now? Prince William appointed as Lord, oh fuck, really? As Lord High Commissioner to the, <laughs> those freaking titles, they go into people with unethical behavior. I mean, this is why you have to say those titles mean shit. Because these people, they, oh, but anyway, Prince William has, get, uh, has been appointed as the Lord High Commissioner to the 2021 General Assembly of the Church of Scotland. Mm. Okay, they also the domestically abused tag team. British press solely characterized Charles and Camilla as an extramarital affair, but, but that island is decades behind on IPV awareness. Fred and Gladys psychologically terrorized Diana, then called her crazy and paranoid. <laughs> and then the son now came and said the same thing, carry on the same thing. All right, let's see here. Okay, that is the sick part of the Prince Charles and Camilla affair. Yeah, and now, you know, William too, because he made a press conference to call his mom paranoid. Okay, yeah, the common men have been buried under the hypocrisy. Okay, back to their vote, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. Lord save us from those people. Hm. That's what they should start saying here. Lord save us, not the, 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 the queen or this nonsense they put in their um, national anthem. God, it's time to bring a mighty storm to the UK. Yep, they are the foundation of all this nonsense that's going around the world. This stupid behaviors, I right? they passing it on to other people, and this thing never died out. This needs to stop, okay? And may God protect all those people, men and women, who's fighting for the truth. Many of them have risked their, risked their life for the truth to come out, for this to stop. Okay, it's hilarious when you think about hypothetical logic of world parasites. All right, there's this. Is that Willow? 
Okay, when she was younger. One adulterer as head of a church, and do you think he's the first? <laughs> a church that owes its very existence to a divorce. Yes. Okay, the irony. My goodness. Took her and abused her. Ah, oh, Dana, do your thing up there. All right, let's do uh, a prayer. I'm going to have to do another video. I have more to share. Let's do a prayer. Prayer. Let's do prayer. Let's say for the Lord to come. I think this is what we need here. Prayer for the Lord to come. Oh, I see intervene, but let's leave the come here. All right, any cypress? Perfect. There's one here. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. All right, so let's look for an image that will go with this. Let's do this one. All right. Uh, I hope I could see it. The background uh, image sort of. All right. Let's see it. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father. Okay, that's the same thing I just read. Uh, give us this day. So it's the same thing that I just read. Let's see here. Let's go back. I want to see the full thing. Maybe this one. Let's do this calling on the Lord. Dear God, I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. I reach forward to today, touch the hem of your garment, and receive my healing. Yes, I want to get well. Give me the faith to walk in freedom and victory. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's see this one. Okay, dear Lord, I can't find the right word. Can you please just listen through, the, through my heart? Hmm, maybe that would be it because we need to change we just need to change let do, let's do this one most of the things that i uh, read then really okay dear lord i'm humbly come before you today in appreciation for all that you have done for me thank you jesus for your sacrifice so that i can be reconciled to god and set me free from the bondage of sin thank you for enduring so much suffering on my behalf i pray that i will have the same kind of strength to end your life for your sake amen all right let's some of those prayers that i'm looking for these are not uh uh it's not hitting it let's go back back again back back okay prayer for the lord to intervene this when i saw this it was uh uh i wanted to do it but then i said let me stick to what i wanted to go for all right so prayer for the lord to intervene let's see what we have here because this is too much everything that's going around the world is just too much we need the god uh, the lord to come and intervene uh, supplication let's do this one these are people who's been on earth uh, oh shoot it's so small I can't see it prayer for salvation uh, let's go back this is too small I can't see it um, let's do, oh fuck, they all are small all right, let's see if I could make it all right. prayer for supplication let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and, supplic and supplication, uh, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Seven, and peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, uh, will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. All right, so they're not really hitting the core, but I just hope God... Uh, uh, too many people have suffered in this world, in this lifetime, in this earth. You have Princess Diana who have suffered so much. She risked her life, her life technically, her life for, uh, you know, nonsense that people, uh, those idiots wanted to do. They achieve it by uh, getting rid of her, but this is not they didn't fully achieve it you have to do what you think is right because right now they're planning to get to the i guess and they want to get to their goal they want to achieve their goal all right so it's time for you to come and stop this bs too many people have suffered under their ruling and then you have foot soldiers who's uh making their uh who's carrying out the work for them so let's put a prayer because i haven't really get something here that uh 
uh, maybe this is what we need. That probably gonna be my, uh, how do you call this, my image for the thing here, to stop it, the domino effect. It needs to be stopped, all right? So let's put into a uh, prayer for, uh, how do you call this, um, uh, foot soldiers, for the foot soldiers to stop carrying out the immoral kind of thing for these people. Because it, if it wasn't for the foot soldiers, most of the stuff that's happening, the suffering, kids being um, uh, abused by this pedophile adult who wants to lower the age of consent and all of that, if it wasn't for the foot soldiers, many of these things would have been stopped a long time ago. The foot soldiers are turning a blind eye. The foot soldiers are carrying out stuff for them. So this needs to stop. All right. A couple of videos ago, I wasn't in the mood to, um, to pray, but this is it. Okay. Pray for foot soldiers. Okay. For... Let's see here. Pray for difficult time. Grace Cathedral. Okay, let's do this one. I'm going to go in this, uh, how do you call this, this website, and I'll put the link in the description, and then you guys could, uh, uh, okay, could uh, check the rest. I'm just going to read one. Okay, I'm already past an hour. Okay, a child's prayer. Maybe this, let's do this one. There's many more, but let's do this one. Jesus, I would... Our Redeemer, Good Shepherd of the sheep, you carry the lamb in your arms. I place myself in your loving care. Stop my pain, give me help and strength, and raise me up to a life of joy. Hear me, I pray for your dear name's sake. Amen. Or this, let's see here. Gentle Jesus, stay beside me through this day or night. Take away my pain. Keep me safe. Help me in my fear. Make my body strong again and my heart glad. Thank you for your love. We've surrounded me always. Yeah, I think this, even though it's very simple, I think this is here. This is good. All right, so that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. The link of this website will be in the description. You guys could check the rest of those um, prayers. All right, that's it. I'm going to do another video because I have more tweets to share with you.